Hi everyone and welcome to New York Comic Con's Metaverse and to Oxventure in Space. I am the sexy, daring, sexy hotshot pilot with no name, Corazon de Estrella, at your service. <laughs> Back in residence, Stardob MD, Chief Medical Officer on board, here for healings and feelings. Call the doc, it's cocktail o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Already started. Already started. Uh, I am Eggbot, which stands for extremely grateful uh, for being one of the team. Uh, Dr. Stardob, it's always five o'clock somewhere in space. That's right. <laughs> That's I'm... just planetation. <laughs> <laughs> I am Prudenzia, a dangerous soldier type, chief of security here aboard the spaceship. We're all on, and I live to shoot bad guys. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I am Mer Ilwen, and I am an alien explorer, and I just want to befriend all of the alien creatures. And I am the universe and every sentient life form in it. Ooh. Whoa! Yay. Yay. That's the nonsense. Very good. Johnny, Johnny. Wow, like that space baby in 2001. <laughs> like that Johnny is That's the space me. baby. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you know when they keep showing photos of like the Nirvana baby? Like, look, you'll never believe what he looks like now. He's not there. <laughs> Want Rizal to feel Nirvana old? Baby. This is the 2001 <laughs> space baby now. <laughs> um, so, um, this uh, adventure um, in space takes Ooh. place uh, aboard the Aspera, which is your new ship, uh, uh, which you kind of inherited by way of necessity after, well, the Aspera blew up your last ship and mm. poor dead Captain Binbag. Uh, oh, in such it. a shame. Um, but such a shame it was. Yeah. Uh, I did. I do have the Stardust. recording. If anyone wants to watch it again, it's quite funny. Watch it back. Yes, go on. You can see like his arms and legs go off in the different oh, directions. It's brilliant. He's the best of us. Yeah. <laughs> Truly a great man. Corazon has changed all the notification sounds on the ship to just be that explosion. <laughs> explosion. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear a little. Coma. Yeah, but he woke up just before the explosion. <laughs> and he went, ow, no, and blew up. It was brilliant. <laughs> it's a miracle. I'm cured. <laughs> But oh, uh, 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 before we get into um, to the adventure and possible uh, future mocking of poor dead Captain Bimbag, let's have a quick recap of Lazy and Feelings, because this mm. is a different system to D&D 5e, which is what we normally play in the Oxventure. This is a very, very simple game by John Harper, who is one of my favourite game designers. So you have a character, uh, and your character has a number, that is their one stat from two to five. Um, and where you sit on this scale uh, determines whether you operate more on lasers or on feelings um so basically if you are very calculating and you work very rationally um and you're you know you're calm and you're precise you would be a lasers person whereas if you are a feelings person you're better at sort of intuitive stuff trusting your gut uh you know like just doing wild passionate action so um then basically, whenever you want to attempt something, I cannot believe I just said wild passionate action. Um, <laughs> whenever you want to attempt something, I will ask you, you to make a roll, either a lasers roll or a feelings roll, depending on the circumstance and the manner in which you're approaching the task. If you are using uh, lasers, which again is sort of science and reason, you need to roll under your number. And if you're using feelings, you need to roll under your, uh, sorry, over your number. So somebody who is very feelings uh, based will have a low number someone who's very lasers based will have a very high number so um it's important to note that things that involve actual lasers can still be feelings roles so if i absolutely. angrily passionately fire a laser gun that is a feelings role that's that is still feelings. if you make yeah. out with your laser gun yeah that's a feeling if i role. make sweet love to a laser gun <laughs> well um this is well, a good and i might our adventure begins <laughs> This is a good time to bring up laser feelings, which is what happens when you roll precisely your When number. a man and a laser gun love each other very much. Very, very much. They have what's called laser feelings. And if you roll laser feelings... Um, which you, is your exact number, right? If it you is your exact, your exact number. number. You succeed on the thing you're trying to do, and you also get to ask me, the GM, a question. Um, mm. And I have hmm. to answer truthfully. Um, although how extensively I answer is entirely up to me. That's pretty much the rules. Um, cool. So I think with that, we can jump straight in. So like I said, this adventure on the Aspera takes place, uh, it's gonna take place, let's call it a week after the uh, the events that saw you taking on this this new ship. 
Nice. Um, luckily, after your kind of battle for supremacy, L1L14N4, the AI that previously tried quite hard to kill you, is now pliant. Although, uh, unfortunately, after the um, after the last session, is quite obsessed with coconut shrimp. Um, <laughs> that's, aren't we not, all? I mean, yeah, that's but, fine. Uh, it's really getting in the way of her duties and competency. <laughs> so every yeah. drawer on the ship I'm opening is full of coconut <laughs> shrimp. <laughs> All the, the replicators pipes. just firing them yeah. out 24-7. Yeah, Trying to plug something into this outlet. Or... There is a coconut shrimp in each of these outlets. Mm -hmm. I'm having to... Oh, man. Frequently... Every terminal has its password locked now, and the password is <laughs> coconut, coconut shrimp. underscore shrimp. But underscore zero C zeros. <laughs> C zero. <laughs> NU4. <laughs> um, you, yeah, you've, you've got it. You've, you've basically got the idea. So you are... Um, you're floating along. You have just... You're on your way... Uh, as you know, so much of space travel tends to be. You're on your way to um, to pick up a signal. You've sort of got a distant ping from um, from a ship, and you know that it's an all frequency hail. But at the minute, you are out of range of this all frequency message, and you uh, cannot receive it. So you are moving towards a ship to get closer in um, to see whether it's in distress or whether it's you know salvage or or what have you, because that is the nature of space exploration. Cool. Well, I'm just gonna begin. I'm gonna flip it over to autopilot because I've still got a bunch of posters I want to put up now that we've moved in properly. All my cool band posters and my cool photos of like cool space captains smoking weed that I like to just have up around. Yeah, on the bridge. <laughs> I've got my lava lamp that's set up here on the Can't on you the do control this in console. Your quarters? Well, I thought we'd all enjoy it. No. I'm in the med bay, which is also my quarters because it's just simpler. And I'm <laughs> blowing a up a big. Already. I mean... There's a big bed there already, exactly. Um, <laughs> and all all the all the IVs I need. Um, hey, <laughs> hey, Prudenzia, look at this poster. It's an alien, and he says, "Take me to your dealer." That's pretty cool, right? We can put this up in the. It's like on the bridge. flying through space inside your student bedroom. I know it's great, isn't it? Anyway, I'm blowing up an inflatable um, uh, palm tree. Cool. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, Please, it, everyone, make a note of it. <laughs> as it inflates, um, the the coconuts that are obviously attached to um, the palm tree also start to inflate, and there is an approving chirrup from it. <laughs> as Liliana says, "Would you like some shrimp to go with that?" <laughs> uh, the shrimp. No Get computer. Shrimp. That's fine. I'm still full from. The, the obligatory meal five minutes ago. <laughs> okay, well, you know where I will coconut be if you coconut need anything. Yes, I know. You're on island time. That's where you are. <laughs> yeah, you keep saying. Damn right. Shrimp be with you. Um, <laughs> yeah, Live long uh, and shrimp. <laughs> Corazon, you notice to your consternation that somehow some coconut shrimp has made its way into your lava lamp and is just sort of... <laughs> what? <laughs> That's amazing. Um, how? How is... The, how? <laughs> you don't know, but you're worried that if you try and get them out, the smell mm. will be terrible because you don't oh. know how they fit in there. All right, fine. I go back to actually piloting the ship then over to this distress beacon. Okay. Um, so you are starting to... As you get closer, could you make me a... Let me a lasers roll, please, to, to sort oh. of have a scan on this thing and see oh what nature of um, thing it is. Is that for all, all right. of us? Or? Um, it is... Uh, I meant Corazon, but... Ah. Uh, Prudenzia, if you want to do this... I'm on the bridge, well, yeah. so uh, I can look over his shoulder. Well, that's, that's, a, tappy that's a four. On the screen, aren't you? That's a four, okay. So I got that's... two. Okay. My number, my number is two, so... It's five, because okay. I love reason and lasers. Okay, so, because obviously with a lasers roll, you're rolling under. Um, Corazon Destrea did, did, has not worked out what this thing is. Um, mostly, is it, I, I think it's a shrimp. Uh, it looks a bit like a shrimp, guys, although I might be seeing everything as shrimp at the moment. <laughs> there is a bling bling coconut shrimp. Accepted. Request. <laughs> Accept. And then a vent just swings open and a pile of coconut shrimp lands on the floor. Delicious. Enjoy your <laughs> shrubs. <laughs> shrubs. This is... <laughs> This is the um, worst smelling ship I've ever been on. So. <laughs> that say something. It's in, it's in the top five. Corazon <laughs> is trying to work out if, if he is actually at all looking at the outline of a ship or if it's just a shrimp on his screen. Um, Prudencia, you work out that this is uh, it's not a distress beacon, but it is a high priority all channels message. 
uh, that is going out live from this ship. It's not pre-recorded. Um, oh. So whoever it is, they are broadcasting right now, and they very much want anyone in the vicinity to pay attention to this message. Oh boy, can we put it on the main Vizzy screen? You as we absolutely call it? can. <laughs> Let me just uh, squeeze you the shrimp off it. Yeah, if you yeah. could just clear these shrimps away, <laughs> and then let's get it up on the main screen. <laughs> there we go. Um, it's live. Let's see. There is basically... Right up close to the camera, you see uh, the face of a man who basically just has beaded sweat all over his face. Uh, he's got sort of three days' worth of stubble on his chin. His eyes are bloodshot. He, uh, there is a quiver in his voice, and he looks uh, terrible, frankly. Um, his message is punctuated by a series of banging noises on what, you, what sounds like a bulkhead behind him. And he just says, please, help us. We... Oh, there aren't many of us left. I think, I think I might be captain now. But anyone in the vicinity, if you could, please, God help. We're under Got attack. Your promotion. I don't know what's going on. I and then you hear a rending sound as the metal is torn open, and he turns and in ah! a very kind of sci-fi uh, cliffhanger way he goes, "Oh God, no, no, no!" And then there's a. <laughs> oh man. No, I very slowly failed his probation, I guess. It's lucky Just we static. turned the live feed on at that moment <laughs> yeah. and yeah. not 20 seconds later. Right. I very slowly <laughs> walk up to the nav panel and just turn us around. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well. No. It sounds like there are people dead aboard and yeah. no one needs well, medical not... attention more than the dead. They're Let's not going to get, get any, any deader, Stardog, MD. They what if might we get be dead? Survivors, They're not honestly. going to get any deader, but they might come back to life with the right yeah. maneuvers. Yeah, on, on the sh but on if they come back to life, they'll be zombies. There's some kind of space monster, possibly a, a, a space monster alien, aboard that ship, and we should go and shoot it for the good of space. But if the it's, space it's why don't we just shoot? The, why don't we just shoot the ship with our ship's cannons, and then it will blow up everything? Because there's souls aboard, man. Also, they're they're not anymore. <laughs> He you said can, he was. The cannons are full of shrimp. You guys. He said oh, there yeah, aren't many true. of us left. He didn't say he was the last one. I press fire torpedoes. What comes out? Shrimp. No. <laughs> no coconuts do. They bounce. They crack oh. on the hull, and oh. bits of coconut swell off. Oh damn um, it! Weapon systems have been shrimped. Nearly on it. No, sorry, L one L one seems to take this as kind of uh, a summons. As she kind of goes, yeah. The tannoy doesn't go bing bong anymore. It goes. <laughs> <laughs> um, as she comes over and says, initial scan indicates ship is mining class. Hull full of precious coconut materials. Precious They've coconut, been, coconut materials mining... or just materials? Right. They've been mining coconuts from the coconut mines. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, that was my bad. <laughs> I meant gold. <gasps> Ooh. Oh. Even better than coconuts. All right, belay well, that dis belay that destruction good. order, crew. I think yep. I've now that I've considered uh, Star Dobbs' plea to save the souls. <laughs> now I thought about it, and actually I think he's right, and we have a, a moral duty as the, By this uh, point, the have Federation we already rules against the ship because none of because we all. Just I'm flying it. it in. <laughs> <laughs> none of you jerkos can pilot this ship. No, that's true. Or oh, bring us in then. It but yeah, I am. Difficult. But because. I've I've thought about the the souls. I'm trying to help the, the souls. The philosophical implications. Yeah, the philosophical. Exactly, exactly. We have a we have a duty of care a directive, to these people. A, yeah, a directive. Prime directive I imagine we're probably working to some sort of space directive. So let's go <laughs> in there and save these people, you monsters. Jeez. Anyway, I flawlessly docked the ship. Yeah, you're making a, a kind of an impassioned speech while flying the ship, right? Yeah. Is kind I'm of like, I'm getting here. yeah, I'm sort of angrily, passionately, really like tapping into my feelings while I do this. Okay, Rinch, so wrenching the joystick around at the same time. Make me a feelings roll, but also you are an expert in flying the ship. This is the That's, thing you do. True. So I should have done this last time, but you get an extra d6. Hmm. Hmm. Two d6. Let's go. Um, okay, that is a one and a four. Okay, so a four will do it. Um, you kind of bringing the ship around you're like you're turning back and kind of almost like working the wheel which doesn't really oh make leaning sense putting your arm on the on the other seat and like yeah kind of like, like a, a bus driver yelling at people <laughs> big dad energy the big there. corner yeah <laughs> um sort of sp spins the ship around um does like a bit of a yaw and brings it parks it perfectly like oh perfectly so Did that you see the, that um, your control <laughs> the, the two airlocks um line up so that you can extend a tube and make a um a safe Maybe. passage into this Cube ship. It. 
And, All right, um, let's go. Fill, let's tube it. I fill a first aid box with blood in case there's blood needed. Yeah. Just uh, like, are you mixing it all together? I've got it in a big bath, and I just d- put the first aid kit goes just in and it's closed. In. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna fill all my right. pockets with blood just so we have got some extra. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. I look for like a crowbar or anything because I've heard tales. Yeah. Of abandoned ships that used to be mining ships mm-hmm. and bad things being on them. So I mm. am not. I have heard the many, many alien tales. And, you know, yeah. it's yeah. just, you, you I don't want to take any. Is the worst of the lot. The, forbi- the forbidden tale. <laughs> the forbidden <laughs> alien tale. <laughs> what have we got in the armory that isn't shrimp? Okay, so, um, uh, Mert Ilwen, you find, uh, you find a crowbar... There are also several hammers. Um, these are basically these are used to crack open coconuts on the ship. They've been appropriated. Mm-hmm. Um, apart from that, um, there aren't really any weapons on board other than the ones you brought over to the Aspera with you. Okay. Um, as you'll remember, L1N1 did a pretty good job of neutralising the old crew. So mm-hmm. um, you know, it's it's you're not super well stocked up. You are Can- replete with shrimp. Can we send a probe of some sort, like a little hovering robot? Like an egg bot. Like an yeah, egg bot. Oh egg yeah, egg yeah. Pro. Can we send a probe? Right. I'm worried. I'm worried about spores <laughs> right. in- inhaling some sort of dangerous alien symbiote, possibly sure. a parasite. But Worry presumably, so much. egg bot can't inhale dangerous yeah, let's parasites. I would. I would just before we go, I would like to fill um, a bag with coconuts, uh, yeah. and I just sort of give it a, a swing to test its sort of weight, mm. and then. And then I turn to like Prudencia and I pennies. say, I like to keep this handy for close encounters. And then you windmill the bag of... And windmill it around my head. <laughs> that would go great with Shrev. <laughs> yes, and, uh, yes, you've said, mentioned. <laughs> a bulkhead opens and just... <laughs> more Mert more Ilwen, shrimp falls out. Um, I have, while we're sort of like sorting out weapons, I have this bone saw, which, as you know, I can't use because first, do no harm. Um, but if you want it to do harm, <laughs> that's fine. Okay, I, yeah, I take the bone saw. So I've got a crowbar, a bone saw, and then I take one of the little hammers and I put it in my belt. I've got a tiny, tiny little belt, and I just put Aww. it in the belt just as a backup. Aww. Cool. I'm going okay. through the tube. I'm marching right. through the tube. Yep. The... All right, stay on comms, Eggbot. Will yep. do. We watch Eggbot into through my... the little porthole. They're built into my robot brain. I can't really turn the comms off. Is he exploding? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> He well, doesn't appear to be exploding. Yay. Okay, but you, um, okay, so you proceed out of... You cycle the airlock from the Aspera. Yep. Um, Don't even need air, but I'll do it just for fun. It's it's more to keep the air in the ship for the others. <laughs> yeah, so, what do I care? <laughs> you, you wait for the 45 Wild. seconds it takes to cycle, being like, I'm so considerate. Yeah. Like, I could just waltz right through here, but look at me at doing all. this so, so nobody dies. Yeah. Um, and then... The uh, the you get into the kind of the umbilical that goes from ship to ship, and you sort of waltz through that. The um, waltz. It's more of a quick step, but yeah. Hey, you quick step. Sorry, excuse me. Um, <laughs> I forgot that's that's your programming. Um, you quick step into the um, to the other side. Um, there is no. Then no start charlestoning in the next <laughs> room. What is he doing out there? <laughs> it looks. I don't know. It looks like the Lindy Hop. <laughs> um, you, there is no security measure stopping you from getting into the other airlock, which cool. you begin to cycle. Uh, right, and then fine. Eggbot, Good. come in. Yes. I'm really going to miss you, Eggbot. It's fine. I'm, I'm coming back. Over. There's literally nothing to kill me. I'm in- indestructible. <laughs> Godspeed, Eggbot. <laughs> the far side, um, the, the airlock door just <laughs> cycles open and like... <laughs> Um, you come across some form of cool hexagonal sort of tube that mm. is very atmospheric um, corridor type thing. What are cool. they called again? Good Jeffrey's job. tube. Jeffrey's tube. <laughs> Good yep. job, Eggbot's body is a perfect hexagon. Yeah. <laughs> form <laughs> up into form of hexagon. <laughs> Post yourself into the Jeffrey's perfectly. tube. Well, you couldn't fit Stardog. He's not the right shape. Whee. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, um, so you you move in and you get a, a bunch of readouts, like cool. atmosphere breathable. Um, Fine. 
toxic, like toxicity levels, normal. Radiation levels, normal. Any alien spores? No alien spores. No alien spores. Um, yes. And just make me a lasers roll. Okay, just with a single dice? Die um, thing? Are you... What's your normal roll, Eggbot? Like, are you an expert in sort of <laughs> what are you for? <laughs> what, I am, are, what is your function? Uh, well, I'm, a, I'm like a salvage robot, basically. But, I'm, I mean, anything vaguely robotic or mechanical is, is kind of my bag. Okay, so. all right. No, that's fine. Um, in that case, yeah, we'll say... Um, yeah, get, take, take another die for this, because this okay. is the sort of thing you were programmed for. Uh, okay, I've got one three, but I've also got four, which is my laser feeling. That's laser feeling. Yes. That's pew, laser pew, 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 pew. So laser, you have laser feelings. <laughs> you have succeeded very, very well. Um, well thank you. So uh, you get the following information from the readout. Uh, number one, there are organic life forms somewhere here. Mm -hmm. um, you knew that already. Yes. Uh, you are able to confirm L one L one's initial scan. Uh, it tells you that there is a. Somewhere in the ship, there is a very large cache of uh, rare minerals, including gold and, um, I don't know, what are other cool-sounding ones? Unobtainium. Iridium. No, yeah. Iridium. Yeah. That one actually Palladium. exists. Palladium. Palladium. Plicker. And, um, Unobtainium, yeah. Yeah. And uh, there's quite a lot of uh, paprika. Ooh. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> a different flavour. Spicy. <laughs> I'm going straight for the paprika, paprika you guys, because, okay. oh my god, I'm bored of coconut shrimp. You're pretty certain that would be in the hold. Um, right. Yeah, you also get a readout that there's there's a small quantity of paella rice. Oh, oh lovely. Hello. So there's hope yet that maybe you can steer the rogue AI onto like a broader palette of shrimp-based <laughs> recipes. And do I get to ask the universe a question? You do. Yay! I would like to know... Are all of the organic life forms on this spaceship human or are they not all human they are not all human in fact I, mean, I would go so far as to say that very few of them are human interesting but some of them are human interesting There's, yeah yes. okay fine okay. that was my question that's all I had um, I'm going to radio back to the, the team squad <laughs> Yep. Space Squad. Come in, Eggbot. Uh, the atmosphere is breathable. No radiation. No right. toxins. No Solid. weird spores that will grow and trees out of oh, your great. throat. That's does, it, does it smell of coconut shrimp over there? Uh, I give the air a sniff with my olfactory sensors or whatever. Hmm. That's Where are weird. they? <laughs> oh, you <laughs> know. You know. <laughs> There's a real cluster down there. <laughs> it's, it's weird that they would put them there, honestly. Yeah. It smells. They're always over. smelling how Eggbot's how exhaust. How else am I supposed to know if my exhaust pipe is not <laughs> functioning? Uh, your exhaust pipe is functioning. It Good. sounds somewhat <laughs> like a cat meowing. Yep. <laughs> That's just Jonesy. That's Aww. Yeah. Aww. Aww. It's the cat. Um, yeah, the air does not smell like coconut shrimp at all. It smells overwhelmingly like, you think, iron? Mm. It doesn't it's smell like coconut like shrimp. All right, I race across to the other ship. Okay. <laughs> breathe huge lungfuls of non-coconut shrimp air. Okay, great. Iron. Wait, <sighs> friends. Uh, yes. Iron. Iron is a large component in blood. In fact, ninety percent of blood is iron. The fact that we can smell iron <laughs> should true? make us very suspicious. That ninety percent of my blood's iron, but I'm a robot. You're carrying a metal lunchbox full of blood, Stardob. Yes. That's, that might be it. Oh, it could be that. Hang yes. on. I smell my lunchbox. I mean, I mean, first aid box. <laughs> but it hey. smells overwhelmingly like blood. Okay, like but, not, but not like iron. No. Well, yes and no. Yeah. I mean, yes. Someone yes, may have bled a lot, is what I'm saying. They could I see. Yeah. Right, 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 right. So, okay. okay. Dob Dob MD, finish a thought. Jeez. Is anybody? <laughs> is anybody not heading over? Um, I, I, I will slowly head over, but I'm also radioing in Eggbot me like, you know, when you asked, like when you, you found out whether they were all human or not, Yes. like did, were the knots like me, do you know that? I don't or... know. I only had one question, so okay. I probably should have been more specific. <laughs> mm -hmm. I really yeah, wish mastered what... this one up. Yeah. <laughs> 
because it might just be a bunch of people like me, but I don't think so. Yeah, that occurred to me after I asked the question, but you know. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. So. I secure I secure uh, the Aspera. I, I put autopilot on. I tell L1 L1 to put one of those things on the steering wheel that stops people. Yeah, turning yeah, yeah. It. yeah, yeah, exactly. I activate the security <laughs> and the laser grids yeah. and whatnot because last time we left a ship on its own, it got blown up. So mm. it's true. And then um, I make my way across the umbilical. Yeah, L one L one starts playing like uh, island music. You know, lots nice. of ukuleles. Someone's playing a saw. Uh, you hear yeah. the distant sizzling of Sir James Buffett of Sir nice. James Buffett, <laughs> uh, which is <laughs> horrifying. Shrimp. shrimp. No. <laughs> um, uh, anyway, you you all kind of you're waiting for the the final airlock to cycle. It's the last mm-hmm. barrier between you and uh, your crewmate Eggbot. And uh, it, yeah, it ratchets its way open. And uh, you kind of all look around and realize Eggbot really buried the lead on this one. Like, sure, you now know a lot about the minerals and you know a little bit about the sort of the crew, um, like, makeup, right. uh, whether or not they're human. Like, these walls are absolutely dripping in blood. No! Oh, there are spatters of it up the wall. Um, you're pretty sure down the end there you can just see like a pair of legs sticking out from a doorway oh and there are these weird sort of masses sort of just in the corridor just sort of <laughs> these weird like fleshy lumps um, and as you watch in horror all three of like three of them just kind of unfurl <laughs> and begin to stand up so the decor's a bit weird but otherwise the place <laughs> seems nice guys so all right, everyone but, but, <laughs> I start hammering on the airlock button <laughs> Um, oh my days! Uh, <laughs> I just start, start okay. quietly sobbing. <laughs> hey, Pop! You... Hey, Pop! What? Did the you not think to mention alien the monsters? Blood, blood, and the are... legs. I thought it was just a bold paint choice. So there are three. I mean, it is. How am I supposed to know what you organic life forms are into? <laughs> Let Johnny tell us what's going to kill us. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's find <laughs> out. There are three things shambling towards you. They are kind of like they're sort of vaguely humanoid but they've got hunched backs they basically look like naked mole rats but like oh. five foot tall I hate so they're it. kind of hunched over like yeah. folds of skin these horrible big like gnashing teeth and claws wait Mer- Meryl Wynn is this what you are? no <laughs> alright okay good just checking uh, I swing my big net of coconuts at one of them okay. I like swing it around my head and let it go like a bowler okay um, are you, are you doing this sort of in a like confident and calculated way, or are you doing this kind of? It's more of an instinct, I would say. It's an instinctual motion. <laughs> I see. It's yeah, more I of the one that works well for my rolling is what he's saying. I see. <laughs> All right. Yes. Um, make in that case, make me a feelings roll. Um, are you prepared? Have you done any practicing with these coconut bolas? Yeah. Well, just for the forty-five seconds while the airlock cycle, I was swinging it around. That'll, yeah, sure, that's a d6. Right, Why great. not? Maybe a 2d6 uh, feelings roll. Okay, that's uh, two and a four, which is uh, laser feelings. Laser feelings. Two successes, ah, one laser pew, feelings. Pew, 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 pew. Great. You like hurl this bag of coconuts, um, and there is an almighty smacking sound as one of them just takes it clean, sort of in the chest and in the face, and just gets bowled over. Uh, it kind <laughs> of rolls with the impact. Uh, although it kind of like gives a shriek and starts tearing at the bag, just being like, ah, 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 like clearly just assuming it is a combatant and trying to tear it limb from oh, limb. Wow. Um, but as it does so, you notice it is actually, it starts bleeding from the mouth um, and kind of just yeah. like, oh, and like frothing at it. It's just, if it bleeds, clearly, we can kill it. It's clearly quite yep. badly hurt. Meryl, okay, and, um, the question um, I would like to ask. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the question is. <laughs> Uh, did these are these things alien or did they used to be human? They used to be human. <gasps> nice. I mean, do not we nice. all know that? <laughs> Slightly meta question, or is yeah. it? Do we all know that, or is it just Corazon? Let's just say, well, it's it, it it's Corazon that knows that. Um, and the way hey, everyone. you know this, the way Based. you know this is the way it rolls with the impact and starts attacking it. You've seen that before. Like, that is distinctly, like, a martial arts style that is popular. Um, it actually originated on Io, one of the moons of Jupiter. Mm. Um, and it is, it, it's all about absorbing impact and uh, kind of using it to, to put yourself in a more advantageous position. Oh my God, this, this mole rat is using Iorate. 
It's a martial art specifically designed to counter having a bag of coconuts thrown at you. Yeah, yeah. 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 It happens a lot on IO. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Io's main export now is coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what situation are the mole, mole men in at the moment? Okay, so there's one uh, savagely attacking a bag of coconuts, right. and there are two more kind of shambling towards you. In fact, Eggbot, you're probably furthest down this corridor, mm -hmm. um, so you are going to be attacked by one of them. Uh, it's kind of just lunging at you. You can see it's going to try and sort of bite you in the shoulder and grip onto you and try and drag you down. Like okay. Classic werewolf manoeuvre, really, but mm. it's not a werewolf. I'm gonna just do a like a sort of piston-powered uppercut type thing, and okay. try and uppercut it into the ceiling. Cool. Preferably onto a light fixture of some sort. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, tell me about this this manoeuvre. Is this? Well, it's a very mechanical. It's not like a smooth like you know boxing style uppercut. It's more of a kind of like two stage. Like the arm <laughs> shifts backwards and then it fires forwards. Okay. Uh, in a very sort of uh, actuated sort of way. Okay, that sounds pretty laser z to me. Oh uh, yeah. You can have an extra d6 if you tell me what this what this piston action is normally used for when it's not used for punching mole rat people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sometimes it's not a robot program to punch mole rat people. Sometimes a robot gets lonely out of God, <laughs> oh, I was really hoping we'd avoid that one. <laughs> I did that and I was like, oh no, no one's going to be mature about this. Um, yeah, I've always what, loved your optimism, Johnny. What, what Corazon said. <laughs> what Corazon said. Sometimes a robot gets lonely. Can I have the extra die. Why don't they program them to not be lonely? <laughs> no. You can have the extra die. Thank I'm not you. happy about it, but you can have it. <laughs> Good. Uh, that's two threes. Better be so worth it. under my number uh, on both two successes. Okay, great. Yeah, you suck it right into the ceiling, mm. um, and its head goes like right into a light fitting and sort of stays there. Mm. So you imagine like if you were hiding in the light. Because it's kind of one of those covered, lots of yes. strip light things. You see its head pop up and then just starts going like... Da, 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 yeah. da, da. The old and electric jig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's doing the old, the old electric jig. Um, I put my tongue on its foot like a like a 9 volt battery and go, Ooh, yes, that's the good stuff. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, you're a robot, I forgot. But Meryl, <laughs> Otherwise, Meryl. Yeah. Hey! Hey! You're cool, Space dog! Space dog! Space dog. Oh, oh my god, Leica! Canine help. unit. She yeah. survived. Bring How did you help. get in here, Laika? <laughs> um, Mer Ilwen, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm panicking. <laughs> I'm freaking out. <laughs> okay. Can I, can I can I look at Mer Ilwen and make a Mer Ilwen? I have an idea. Okay. <laughs> Corazon said that they used to be human. Right. I can't bear the thought that they might not be beyond help. We need to immediately perform a very violent operation to try and get the human out of the mole rat mm -hmm. shell that has oh, okay. consumed it. Oh. Ow. Help me hold this one down. Grab the bone saw. <laughs> I'm scrubbing in. Right, let's do this. Go on, Merylwen. Mer I grab Merylwen and we bundle towards one of the mole rats to perform an operation on it. Okay. Merylwen, start soaring and don't stop till you find the human. I'm just, I'm just like... Basically, so Stardust behind me, pushing me forward, and I'm just there with the bone saw going. Okay, so. Um... I, I, I would like to try and hold the mole rat down and, okay. and its arms back, exposing the chest cavity, which generally is where the healing happens, in my experience. <laughs> yes. So All most right, of the good so healing work gets done, yeah. We'll start with you, Stardog, because you're going to roll in order to try and lend Mer Ilwen an yeah. extra die. And also, I would mention this is how I do all my operations, so <laughs> I'm very much prepared. Yeah, that's and an fine. expert. Yeah, and, and an, an expert. expert. Three. And this is uh, this is feelings. Is this feelings? Yeah. yeah okay. I feel very strongly that we should get the human out. <laughs> yeah. Three d six feelings roll, please. Uh, okay. Well, that's a three, which is over my number. Um, oh, a one, which is under. Oh dear. It's all right. Uh, and another three, so two Great. successes. Yeah. Um, that's enough to give an extra die to Mer Ilwen. Um, okay. This is almost certainly a feelings roll, isn't it? <laughs> Looking at the heightened state of emotion. Nothing scientific already. about what's happening here. <laughs> so you get an extra die for for start of MD's help. You get mm -hmm. an ex you get your normal die for sheer luck. Mm -hmm. Would you say that you are an expert in this or that you are in any way prepared? <laughs> well, I'm like preparing myself to be disgusted. So I'm prepared in that sense. Is the role not to throw up? Because if you're not, 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm getting the sense that, pre- like, so what? Like, preparing yourself not to be disgusted by things is quite a routine part of your existence on this ship. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Can you Especially give me with all the example? shrimp stuff happening, okay. I was just it's like, a sort of here we go again time. vibe. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. So you're like, if I can, if I can shower with a tray full of of rotting coconut shrimp. Mm-hmm. Not out of choice. Mm-hmm. Uh, then I can get through this. Fine. All right. You mm-hmm. can have an extra die. So cool. Um, okay. So that's three d six feelings. Okay. So that's a two. No. That's a six. So, and a five. So two successes. Okay. Two successes. Great. You. Oh, you do it all right. Um, <laughs> but what? Heal okay. it. Bring it back. The bring it back news. with the bone saw, Marilyn. The bad news is there isn't a human inside (laughs) the mole rat. The good news is you're really certain about that. You've been extremely thorough. In all of its nooks and each one of its crannies. Like oh. you look at you look over your shoulder and you're like, I've made it all the way through to the other side. I haven't found one. So you've basically just excavated. Well stop now, because I'm the other side. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you basically you're like and then you find Stardob and you're like, No. It, I don't, it must <laughs> the human must have escaped into Stardob. You're talking oh through my God. Uh, you're talking I expose my belly. A, a flesh <laughs> porthole. Oh. Uh, I've pulled Merlin. them all in half, like <laughs> Like well, that that <laughs> yeah. I look in each side. I look in each side to to check. There's no humans, and then go. It never gets any easier. <laughs> what did okay. that creature's exhaust port do to you? Um, all right. Uh, seeing this, the coconut mauling mole rat thing kind of looks up and hisses, and turns to escape into a nearby vent. Uh, Prudenzia, you've I, got one yeah. fleeing. You've got. Uh, well, just some a bisected mole rat sort of person thing, mm. and you've got one doing the electric jig, but is clearly like uh, g- 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 raising its arms to try and pop its head out comically. Okay, all right. Um, I think Eggbot's uh, Eggbot's got the electrified mole rat under control, so I hit the fleeing one with a, um, a, a, a laser blast from my personal laser, um, set to set to stun. Okay. Um, try and take one alive and we can investigate right. it. Maybe do a vivisection or something. I think uh, they've already got just that done a vivisection. No, a vivisection! <laughs> <laughs> Partially. It was, yeah. It was, Life for some of it. It was a vivisection until one point and then, yeah. yeah. It, then okay. it was just a section. Yeah. Covering all bases. <laughs> uh, okay. So we will call this lasers because you've had the forethought to be like, duh, 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 stun. Stun. Ba, 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 right, you turn the shot. dial. Okay. So, um, one for luck, you prepared. Um, and this is this is your bag. You're an expert. Yeah, right? I love okay. shooting stuff with lasers. Uh, okay. Three d six lasers roll, please. Woo! Let's go. Okay, so there's a six, so that's a laser feelings. Pew pew. And uh, a five. No wait, you can't have a six. It's a six, a five, and a three. So the five is my laser feelings. Okay, so, so. that's two successes and laser yes. feelings. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah, you um, basically. As as it gets into the vent, it turns to hiss at you in a kind of like ah, I'm and and I'll get you later kind of way, and it just <laughs> right, eats right the stun round. Right between the eyes. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. It catches the the bolt right nice. between the eyes and just yeah. kind of slumps out of the. Um, That's right. It just ragdolls its way back into the corridor. That's what I thought. Um, what is your question? Can the mole rats be de mole ratted? Possibly. Oh. Oh, oh dear. Ooh. Well, that's not, not really enough. I mean, I knew that much before. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. but, it's, but, but it's not a no, and it's not, it's not a no. So, you know. Um, yeah, it's, it is not a no. We may yet be able to... I mean, we won't be saving this one that's <laughs> in pieces on the floor, um, but we may yet save others. Uh, I put my, I put my hand on... Um, Prudenzia's shoulder and yes. say, "This is the hardest part of the job." <laughs> what when you tear them in half, like in a Mortal Kombat fatality? Yes, <laughs> you've now. That's just got... the hardest part. Of that is the hardest part guts. of literally every operation I perform. <laughs> um, with that in mind, I'm going to grab the legs of the one that's hanging from the light and power bomb it into the ground. <laughs> 
Okay. Okay. Great. Uh, are you doing? Is this? Are you doing this in a, a sort of instinctual like? I'm sending a message kind of feeling. No, there's no emotion. Or... It's just purely practical. It looks like it's about to escape. <laughs> Execute powerbomb yeah. subroutine. Yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> Go to the powerbomb. Yeah. goes across my eyes. And okay. then powerbomb. Yeah. Which, which powerbomb are you selecting from the drop-down menu? <laughs> Crucifix powerbomb? Sit-out powerbomb? Uh, it's it's uh, powerbomb from hell. Okay, powerbomb from hell. Nice. Ooh, bloop, bloop, okay. bloop, bloop, bloop. Okay. Uh, make me a 2d6 lasers roll then, please. Uh, right. Uh, 2d6. Uh, I've got a six, which is a fail, but a two, which is a success for my laseriness. Okay. Cool. Yeah, you you do so. Uh, are you looking to Bam. knock it out? Are you looking to kill it? K oh, I mean, KO, uh, preferably, but if it dies, I mean, what do I care? I'm a robot. Mm. Well, you only got one success, which uh, <laughs> does include some form of complication, so I'm afraid. Okay. Uh, basically, um, this, this mole rat person was not a trained professional, and so forgot to sort of keep their head up oh and no so you just power bomb them <laughs> head first oh. into the into the grated oh. floor um, oh wow and it just kind of like <laughs> cubed like yeah it, you just <laughs> it's very extruded through the, through the grate just, you just smush it like a play-doh press yeah. Yeah. factory yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, my. i think we might be the monsters everybody kind of, <laughs> the ship the ship goes quiet except for kind of the dripping of yet more gore in this um corridor yeah. All right, so should we yeah. investigate this unconscious mole rat and yeah, learn, is it its, wearing learn its any, secrets? I don't suppose it's wearing any uniform or clothes or insignia or has any traces of being formerly human. I look make, at it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, make I use me, my eyes. <laughs> make me some form of looking at it roll. Okay. <laughs> I use my eyes. Uh, we'll call this a lasers roll for you. Um, okay. Prudentia. Okay, how many make, are we talking? Make it a 2d6 because you're yeah. used to kind of security... Like ocular pat downs, that kind of thing. Ooh, I, I perform an <laughs> ocular pat down. Mm -hmm. Let me pat that those is... eyeballs down. <laughs> Could have contraband in there. That's a, a five and a three. So pew pew, laser feelings. Great. Okay. Mm. Uh, you do kind of like it is almost entirely just like without clothing. But you see, kind of around its ankle, mm. there is a scrap of fabric that, when you kind of pull it up, is clearly like the shin of uh, what were a pair of trousers. Mm. Okay. Um, Stardob, um, Stardob, MD. Yes. What, in your medical opinion, what could be done to turn this mole rat back into a human person? And don't say saw, because we tried that. Yeah, we tried. There's no human Philip inside it. The blood you've got. Well, what's happened here is they've turned into a mole rat. In a situation like this, Corazon, it's yes. best to apply Occam's razor, which is a right. big razor blade that <laughs> I have <laughs> in my pocket. Occam's razor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And you I start believe, cutting. Oh, that's I believe that if say, we, doctor. I believe that if we use uh, Occam's razor, we may be able to shave away a little bit of the skin of this mole rat. And if I can get it to a lab, I may be able to reverse engineer some kind of antigen. Mm. Interesting. That sounds sciencey. Yes. It, it does, does, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, now, do you mean antigen or antigen? Because those are very different things. Well, no one's they are. Gin. <laughs> <laughs> anti gin is my is least that... favourite chemical. <laughs> is it? Does it? If it meets with gin, does it explode? And I yes, explode. which is why I have to be so careful in the lab. <laughs> um, okay, two things. Uh, number one, Prudenzia, you uh, I owe you an answer to a question. Mm, mm. Gosh, well, we know they used to be humans, and they may or may not be turned into humans again where are the humans holed up if they are holed up where are the where am humans there is one in a storeroom six foot away oh okay. there is just like a there's a, a kind of a double door and you kind of prudenzi just kind of like looking at this this unconscious mole rat person just kind of goes hmm you just know there's someone in there okay oh. um I've before we before we do anything yes. um Stardob, if you're, we're using your Occam's razor, yes. I'm worried that if we leave this mole rat here on their own, I'm, I'm worried about Chekhov's gun, which is this big gun that I carry around. <laughs> I'm worried I'm just going to shoot the mole rat. You're worried this is going to go off. <laughs> yeah, I'm worried this okay. is going to go off and kill the mole rat. So I'm going to just put this in a, put this yeah. somewhere safe so we <laughs> okay. don't kill it. Good. Uh, okay, all right. Well, I... Um... <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, I, I I pull out of my pocket a small metal cylinder. I press a little button on it, and it goes and folds out into a gurney. 
um, with like wheels, and um, I I lift the uh, stunned mole rat onto it so that we can take it with us, uh, so that we don't leave it here, so that something you know mysterious something could happen, can happen to, to it. it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. okay. Great. Oh, great. Okay. Well, I, I, I have a feeling. I have a feeling. Maybe I heard something. I don't know. But um... yeah, I think that you heard a kind of like a bong, gong, gong, like of, a, of a, an air canister being knocked over. Oh. Um, and you heard like a muffled attempt to silence it. Okay. There's there's something in that storeroom. I reckon over there. That oh. pr- pr- sounded sounded clumsy. Okay. S- s- something or someone clumsy over in that storeroom. All right. Stand back, everyone. I say, and very feelingsly, I walk over to the door. <laughs> I'm full of emotion as I yeah. stride over. Burst into the tears as you approach it. I'd like Such to, a yeah, to, door. I would like to breach and clear into the storeroom with a weapon drawn. Not Chekhov's gun, though. That thing goes off. It goes off. Yeah, <laughs> that is, yeah, it goes when you least expect it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That thing's yeah. not going off until the last ten minutes. I think. Yeah, that's that's usually. <laughs> then you have to watch out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, let's say you just kick, you try and kick open the the bulkhead doors like um, like saloon doors in a western. Mm. Uh, so make me a feelings roll. Um, are you an expert or particularly prepared at this? I'm an expert in kicking doors open. I went to three years of door kicking academy. Okay, so you can't just kick a door. You need to know where to kick the door. You need to know what kind of doors are even to susceptible to kicking. Big That's metal true. bulkhead. <laughs> yeah. I want oh, to okay. see where Corazon does choose to kick the door. Yeah, exactly. You'll be, yeah. you'll be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> it's not where you think. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. You can. You can have two d six, Felix. <laughs> okay, that's a two and a five. So that is laser feelings. Laser two successes. Feelings. Okay, great. So, uh, as you know, of course, on a door like this, because they're kind of squared, the best mm. place to kick it is right in the top corner, so it kind of spins. So it's just like, woo! Yeah. So you basically, uh, almost like you're throwing a playing card. You send an incredibly heavy metal door going boom into the far wall. Um, and you are met with a burst of flame. Oh! From, uh, well, uh, basically there's a... And then the burst of flame dies down. And behind it, you see somebody holding like an improvised flamethrower, looking terrified. Going, Get back, you horrible rat people! My God, who are you? Uh, you I... can also ask me a question. Oh yes, I can also ask you a question. Um, question, great, great. Uh, I was th- I was thinking of uh, starting to wear an eye patch. Do you think it would it'd be a good idea? Do you think it would suit me? Oh yes, please. Yeah, that sounds yeah. great. All right, yeah. cool. Sounds really good. I was Aww. right. All right. Yeah. Do you have a little um, hunt behind it? A little heads up display. Yeah, yeah. It's a, little, it's a computer eye patch that helps okay. me. The, the, the readout says like designation. Did it a human? Did it class? Did it is science officer? Is it science? Yeah. Did it did it did uh, status? Did it did scared? Right. Yeah. I know. I got that from the the smell. Fear. Um, yeah. It's, okay. <laughs> we're, it's well. We're 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 human mostly. Some of us are robots and some of us are aliens. But we're friendly. We're not we're not mole people. We're here to help you. We're here to rescue you. Are they gone? Are they dead? So I mean, three of them t- are t- gone or yeah. incapacitated. So. It's, you, you're okay to come out. We're, we're going to do some tests and try and figure out what's going on. You're a science officer. Uh, uh, yeah, I think that's what do I Do you recognize these yeah. trousers? Uh, I point to the scrap of material the, on the shin of the trousers. stunned one. Was it on the stunned one? I think yeah. so. Yeah, no. Well, <gasps> I... It's alive. We should kill it. And he goes ah! to fry it. No, no, we, no! Think that, we think there's I, a way I of turning them, them back. Away. These are your old crewmates. In the, in the hole of the flamethrower. Nice. Plug it up. He just goes like, and gently heats up your arm. Hmm. Um, is it, I know these were my old crewmates. I saw them all turn and start tearing one another to pieces. I think I'm the only one alive. Well, we think there might be a way of turning them back, maybe. We need to do further tests. Just get us to the lab. This ship must have a lab. Where's the lab? It, uh, to check the gold is real. What's your name, by the way? Everyone calls me Chen. All right, Chen. Where's the hey, lab? Chen. I, this is important. It's not really a lab. It's kind of just a med bay with sort of a. Uh, it's, a it's a coffee machine, really. That that's fine. Oh, that's what exactly what I'm used to. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if it's not knee enough. deep in coconut shrimp, it's better than what we've got back on our ship. You can't just leave this thing alive. That they hunt in packs. 
it'll just go back to the others and warn them. They'll know you're here. Well, if they hunt in packs, it's fine by itself. We're going to take no. it to the medical bay and we're going to see if there's anything we can do to help it. And if there isn't, then I've got Chekhov's gun over here. <laughs> look, I'm, tell I'm so. telling you, I, I wouldn't have... Look, Chekhov, listen to me. I, if, <laughs> if, I, if there were any way to turn them back, I... God, I would have, I would have tried that by now. Don't you see? Well, I'm we're going to try it the... using what you have on this vessel. <laughs> right. I prescribe ten cc's of chill the heck out. Chill um, the heck out. I've been trying to survive for three days. I inject Chen with morphine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just, um, just, just, I just to take the edge off. Just I just, so, I just Maybe like a... while Chen is talking to everyone else, I just slide <laughs> up and just. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm going to say you're doing this with kind of misdirection, so we'll make this a feelings roll. Okay, thanks, Johnny. Um, are you an? Are you an? Would you describe yourself as? An Am expert? I an expert? An expert in injecting people with morphine? unwilling people. Unwilling. <laughs> Doctor Feelgood over here. Yeah, uh, yeah. Not a lot is. of not a lot of patients go willingly into uh, okay. my med bay. So <laughs> that, that good night. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Yeah. Uh, in fact, all of you except for um, Eggbot, you see this move coming. You're like, oh, here he goes. Because uh, <laughs> the old, the old, the old unsolicited morphine. Part of being a good medical doctor is is, is practicing techniques a lot and sort of repeat <laughs> procedures. So while he doesn't then do summary procedures afterwards, <laughs> you are very used to him being like, hey, what's that behind your ears? And just. <laughs> and then just, waking uh, up yeah. two weeks later. Opioids. Yeah, that's how I um, lost my kidney. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like, oh, I replaced boy. it with something better. An I espresso machine. <laughs> <laughs> it is quite handy. Um, but yes, uh, you see... Uh, so make me this, this 2d6 feelings roll, please. Cool. I was like, here it comes, Dr. That Fingers. is a three and a two, which is laser feelings. Tremendous. Wow. Chen just goes like, no, you've got to listen to me. We could have got more information out of Chen. I, I don't think I, I've, not, I've, I've, uh, I've not given Chen a sort of like unconscious amount. Of, no, okay. Uh, okay. But he's hanging loose. He's, he's like, he's okay. well chill. But like right. so smell. loose. Okay. So loose. Is that coconut I smell? Probably. Yes. Yeah, mm. almost certainly. All right, uh, let's I mean, get to this medical bay. Can I, Sorry, take, the can I take the opportunity to uh, pop the fuel canister off his flamethrower and drink it all? Yeah. <laughs> yeah thanks. Great. Oh, I've got a question. I need it later. Oh, yeah. Question. Um, okay, uh, how many mole rat, uh, alive mole rats are there on the ship? Um, probably about a dozen. All right. <gasps> we can take them. We need to bait them all into one place. Yeah. I turn to the others and I say, I can just, I just get this feeling that this whole place is riddled with mole rats. And if we're going to cure them, we need to, we yeah. need to find the cure and yeah. then create the, create the antigen. And then two, get them all in one place and dose them. Right. Oh, so we've... three step plan. We need to get to the medical bay, synthesize a cure, and then corral the mole people together and administer said cure. Yeah. Yeah. What if we construct a giant pile of food in the cafeteria? Well, yeah, we will need to corral them together either way, either for curing mm -hmm. or killing. So, so, well, if we decided that we, if we can't make a cure, we may as well try and make it back to our ship and then nuke it from orbit. Mm, all the weapon systems are full of shrimps, though. We could put and them the in the airlock and blast them out. We could the set the self, we could set a bomb or self-destruct here. You don't I'd forgotten the about the minerals. rare minerals. Of course, we also need to steal. I mean, sorry. Uh, salvage. Safe safeguard. Salvage. Salvage. Thank you. Requisition yep. and safeguard and salvage the rare minerals. Oh, so yeah. okay, okay, okay. Let's go to the medical bay. That seems like the next step. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Okay. In this, in a sort of strategic formation. You know, yeah. someone watching our six, someone watching our twelve, someone we watching. Get, yeah, like a... I can rotate my head at high speed and yeah. watch all, all of the <laughs> clock. All of I can watch just... the whole clock. If everyone puts their hands up and ho and I go on my back with my gun pointing at the ceiling, in case there are any. Yeah. So I'm like crowd surfing along the others, pointing a gun right. at the ceiling, just in case. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, everyone, just roll me two uh, d six, either lasers or feelings, depending on how you're proceeding. Ooh, I've got one got success three. and one fail. Same. Two success. Okay. I've got I've a two got... and a six, which is two successes and a laser feelings. Wow. I've got a fail and a laser feelings. Wow. Okay. Oh. All right. Uh, yes, that is that's enough successes for you to make it towards the med bay um, without uh, alerting the uh, 
the mole rat people. I'll describe where you are, and then you can have your questions. You, on the, in order to get into the med bay, you have to go through the mess hall. When you reach the mess hall, you're like, "Ooh, this feels epicentery," because it is a mess. There is quite a lot Destiny. of blood. There are a couple. There are like three or four human corpses that have clearly been murdered by mole rat people. Uh, there are lots of shreds of clothing. Um, tables are knocked over. Uh, it is evident that some some form of several horrifying transformations took place in this room. Mm. Questions. What uh, co what caused the transformation? Um, look in the recycler. Could this happen to us? Yes. Mm. <laughs> All right. so maybe don't look in the recycler. <laughs> <laughs> Weirdly, I'm seized with the uh, the urge to look in the recycler. Okay, um, um, yes, there is um, a recycler unit on the wall. Do you want me to um, stick my head in it? I don't think I'm going to turn into a mole person anytime. You soon. might get recycled though, because you're made of aluminium. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It's a it's a high risk, high reward might come out situation. Cube. <laughs> might get cubed. <laughs> you just All have right. to be kicked down the corridor. From now on. <laughs> um, the recycle. I mean. You're very familiar with recyclers. Basically, anything that isn't being used gets tossed in the recycler, and it gets processed back into the um, the printing, the sort of the material printing machines um, that are just a, a natural part of uh, life on board a spaceship because cargo space is limited. Yada yada yada. Mm -hmm. um, this recycler is jammed um, and is showing an error message, like basically check paper draw. draw. Oh okay. man, hit it! <laughs> Give it a good smack. What's the problem, Meg? Well. Use uh, your I go over an I go over an interface with the recycler. I look the other way. <laughs> yeah, everyone please look the other way. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Uh, you're, uh, you're not uploading any episodes of ER to this. Not thing. this time. Okay, great. <laughs> not yet, anyway. Just, just, just check. Okay. <laughs> Chicago Hope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Diagnosis murder. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Now we're talking. <laughs> you interface, and basically, it is just saying that. Um, it's jammed because something unsuitable for recycling has been placed in the recycling sort of drawer. Okay. I, can I eject it, please? Can I yes, send an can. eject command? An eject yes. override command? Just make me a lasers roll, please. Yep. Uh, how many... How many... Am I prepared to do this? Or am I an expert in interface... <laughs> am I an you expert are, in interfacing, like, Johnny? Working on, working on machinery is your bag, isn't it? Yes. 2d6 lasers, then. 2d6 lasers. That is a one success and one fail. Okay, one success will do it. Um, it. It does come out slightly damaged. You're like... <laughs> and basically, there was some printed information on the side, which has been scraped off as you've kind of pulled it out. But what you pull out is some form of chemical vial. Mm-hmm. Um, Star Dob, you recognise this sort of thing. Seems from... unlikely, but go on. Because <laughs> well, it's where you keep your aromatics and <laughs> some, some bitters and stuff. These are chemical storage vials, such as might be used in a lab or in a med bay or something similar. At the very My bottom, God. At the very bottom of it, uh, Eggbot, you can see just a little blob, like a little black, like uh, just a couple of millilitres of, of liquid. Mm -hmm. As you kind of turn it, you see, as you hold the vial this way, it suddenly races up the side <gasps> of the tube and stops level mm. with your eyes. Okay. And after a few seconds, it loses interest and starts to kind of start flowing around the inside of the tube mm. uh, where it, it finds a side and seems to be drawn. You kind of feel like, why is it looking that way? And you look over and you see it's looking at your, um, your fleshy... Teammates. Human and Xeno counter counterparts. All right. Well, Ew. I'll stick my it's robo thumb thing. over the, the end of it, and um, we'll take it to the lab. Yeah, let's get this thing analysed. That looks like a like a venom to me. <laughs> venom um, symbiote. Eggbot. Up goes, the... That's not meant to be there. <laughs> Do you recognise okay. it, Chen? What? what is it? Yeah. What, where is it meant to be? Well, I sure, sure wish Chen wasn't high on morphine <laughs> right now. It's meant to be in the lab. Oh, so you made this, Chen. Is this your work? No, he drools. Um, oh. I thought you said the lab was just a like a rubbish med bay with a coffee machine. Yeah, they yeah. make their coffee real strong out yeah. here. I mean, 
to be fair, black coffee, black symbiotic coffee. I mean, this absolutely has all the signs of a rubbish science situation, right? No, we've we've found this. We okay. were routine mining expedition, and we found mm. some goo. Oh, right. And you put Space your face goo. next to it, did you? Mm. Hate to see it. I Always do. happens. I'm fine. Mm. Everyone oh, Chen. else is goo. <laughs> Cool. Everyone is goo. Chen, you dope fiend. We need answers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Dr. Stardob, MD. Yes. <laughs> Double up there. <laughs> um, if we take this goo to the lab, might it help us synthesize an antigen? It's vital that we have it. Great, good. Let's get this thing. Get this, this to the lab. To Eggbot. the labs. Yep. Eggbot, your thumb can't fail us now. Right. <laughs> yeah, I can't impress you enough with Don't how vote. crucial it is. I give a thumbs up and then I, I quickly <laughs> to keep it on the vial. It nearly escaped. <laughs> Divert eighty percent of your power to the to your thumb, Eggbot. Okay, my eyes okay. glaze over. You go into the med bay. Um, it, unlike uh, lots of uh, other rooms on this ship, like the one you've just come from. Uh, seems to be largely undisturbed. Um, everything is kind of where you would expect it to be in a med bay. It, he wasn't lying. It is not a great med bay. Like, there is only one sort of crash couch. The supplies are limited. Um, Can I make a coffee, though? Hmm? Can I make a coffee, though? There is a very nice-looking coffee maker. Um, obviously, in the mess hall, you saw that there was one that's just hooked into the ship's normal like replicator systems. Um, you've you've had sh shipboard coffee, like it's grounds made from kind of mushroom proteins that are oh. produced on board the ship. It is not good. In here, it smells delightful. It smells like actual proper roasted coffee beans, huh. and it is kind of one of those you know those really weird like they look like a chemistry set, sort of the expensive drip fed mm. kind of vacuum forming coffee sets. Uh, there's one of those. Yeah. Um, and you're like, oh, oh they really right, spent all their money on the coffee machine and none on the medical equipment. Let's get this puppy started, you think to yourself. Uh, only there is a problem, which is that the um, the pot is missing. Huh. Uh, I look around the room. Is it anywhere in the room? Nope. Nowhere in the room. Chen? The... Where is the pot for the coffee, <laughs> my good man? I <laughs> don't... I don't know. That's Dr... Irving's coffee maker. No one's supposed to drink from it. Just Dr. Irving. It's only meant for Dr. Irving. There's Dr. something unusual about this coffee machine, I mm. think. I would like to... Wait, Stardob, you're the... Who's the most scientifically minded here? I would say Stardob, <laughs> but you seem quite drunk. <laughs> That's when Stardob. I do my best science. Seems All right. and is. I mean, um, I can, I, I can like, analyse it for you if you want. Yeah, it, yeah if you could, yeah, if you could I think run a scan. Yeah. Like a little, yeah. a little green lasery type beam thing comes out and, like, scans nice. over the coffee machine. Where's it come out of, <laughs> Eggbot? I think you know. My eyes this time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Make me a uh, 2d6 lasers roll, please. <laughs> Switches the lens on his groin. <laughs> uh, I've got a five and a four, which is my laser feelings. Laser feelings. Yes. All right. Feelings. Okay, yeah, you scan the coffee maker um, and you're like, nim, 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 nim. like these are, they were using Arabica beans. Um, nice. Very nice. Uh, you, like, you basically, you identify the, the make and model of the, um, of the coffee maker. An affiliate link pops up in your vision. Yeah. You can buy it if you want. I broadcast that to the rest of the team. Slightly Ooh, decompostable. <laughs> You get the same biomatter reading in yep. trace elements, uh, but it is the same biomatter reading you get from the tube that you are holding. Uh, your uh, 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 what's more, uh, you notice on the kind of the coffee maker that there is a small sort of like uh, like metal bit on the side of a bulb where you can clearly screw in some form of flavor tube or something mm -hmm. to add in aromatics like or yeah, like a pumpkin pod. spice. Um, Pumpkin spice, yeah, um, in order to flavour the coffee as it is being made. Um, there are the trace elements you get are slightly higher around that valve. Mm -mm. 
someone or something probably sabotaged the coffee. I might just ask the universe about that. <laughs> Please do. Um, did uh, uh, this Doctor Irving? Um, are they still? Are they still around at all, or are they, have they been? Are they dead, or are they a mole person currently? Doctor Irving is dead. Right. Got it. Got it. Okay. I think I think that someone didn't like Doctor Irving, and so they put the thing in his coffee, thinking that it mm. would kill him, but they didn't realise that it would turn him into a monster, and yep. then domino effect. Oh, nice. also, Corazon, yeah. don't drink the coffee. What's that? I say as I raise it to my lips. <laughs> I <laughs> smash it out of his hand. <laughs> Everyone hey. jokes, smashes it out of his hand. Yeah, me and Prudenzia like, almost collide as we're like, no! <laughs> yeah, the pot, the pot is still missing, but you've kind of rigged up a mug. Yeah. And yeah, just put his face underneath that. it. I just had my cupped hands underneath <laughs> it. <laughs> I mean, um, <laughs> that coconut shrimp coffee on the ship is, is bad. I need something. So yeah, the coffee was probably the delivery vector of this weird alien goo. Oh. But I suspect if we um, if we can develop an antigen and mix it with the coffee, maybe the mole rat people, the last memory they'll have is of drinking some coffee and that'll be the thing that gets them to come back and, and feed on the antigen and maybe cure them. But Big I'm not time. a doctor and I'm not 100% convinced Starbuck the dog is he. No, but I tell you what, I am 100% convinced by Eggbot. What? Your plan. Good. Yeah. Great. We need to rig. Yeah, we need to make antidote in this coffee machine, and then we'll yep. turn this whole place into a coffee shop. We'll call it Star Dobbs. We'll have yep. a logo where he's a mermaid <laughs> holding a cup of antidote. A sexy and logo. A sexy, yeah, yeah sexy mermaid <laughs> Star Dobbs. That's such a good idea. Oh, hell. Chen, oh, you could be my Chen. Well, Chen, I need a lab assistant. I am slash barista. I mean, I am, I am lab assistant. Ah, science officer, right? Science officer, yeah. Doctor Irving and I, science. Tell me about Doctor Irving. Science. What kind of a guy was he? Popular, mm. well liked? No. But, right, no. and why is that? Horrible man. Horrible. Okay. Judgy. Judgy. Shouty. Mm. Never, never shared his coffee. Ch Chen, mm -hmm. did, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you something, and you've got. I do hope you'll tell me the truth. Did you put space goo in Doctor Evans' coffee? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a relief. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 Okay. <laughs> Well, a long old, uh, a lot of people have a lot of people have died. You won't be in trouble. It'd just be good to know. Mm. Yeah. If it yeah. was you, that's good. You won't be in trouble. Good lie. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Okay. No, he's just he's just doped up. It's I'm sad. Makes him s sad sound guiltier. About this because oh. it's very it is very sad. But I look on the bright side now. Everyone's a mole person. Once they die. Uh, if I'm the only one left, the ship's mine. Salvage rights. Mm. No, no, too small share for Chen. No, okay. Chen gets paid properly this time. Ooh. Chen. Well, Chen, I've Chen. got bad news. You'll be splitting it minimum with all of us. Yeah. So. <laughs> Who wants some coffee? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Thank you, Chen. What a great lab assistant. <laughs> Uh, All right, I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make an antigen. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, and someone keep uh, an eye on Chen. Don't let him no, add anything. I'm helping. He's helping. Can you do latte art, Chen? Can you can you do a like a little flower and a yeah. little can feather? I? A yeah. little mole rat. Can I? Mole I don't know. We'll find out. Can All right. I? Okay. I'm making yep. my antigen. Uh, okay. So so what what's like around me? Are there there are some? There is like a, a desk. The coffee machine, some some like just chemicals. analyze analyze the the stuff, the the venom. Yeah. Do a spectral and then analysis. Make the yeah, make the opposite of that with yeah. science. All right, yeah. here's what there's a there's there's a centrifuge, so you can weld a Ooh, test tube yeah. around for. 20 I push seconds. the centrifuge out of the way. No! It's not going to be needed. <laughs> I down my drink. Smash. I, boy. I blindfold myself. <laughs> I feel along the walls all of the different jars of chemicals and stuff until I hit on one and I'm like, 
Yes, I take it. With my other hand, I go Eggbot the vial. He passes it to me. I mix the two together. I jam them into the coffee machine and I shake the whole thing up and I go, I've never been so sure of anything in my <laughs> life that this is the antigen. Right. Have we still got that unconscious mole rat? Yeah. On the gurney. On the yeah. gurney. Yeah, on the gurney. Oh, yeah, and I, I scrape, I, 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 I take Occam's razor and I scrape a few cells in, in, do, 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 into that. Uh, and then I take the blindfold off, give it a swirl. Uh, pass it to Chen for some latte art, and I say, that's how you science with your heart, people. <laughs> okay, make me a feelings roll. It's got to be all can... three, surely. It's got to be all three. This is what you do. This is what, yeah, it's what Dob does, and he's been preparing for it since the start. Start, start Dob. MD. This yeah. is the whole thing. Here we go. Oh, that rolled onto the floor. I'm just going to roll it again. Four. That's a success. Hey. Five. That's a success. Six. That's a success, as you guess. It's it is beautiful. You slide it along to uh, to Chen to do the art. He's already foamed, <laughs> foamed the milk. He's like, uh, nah, 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 nah. he does a leaf. He puts it down. He's like, da, da, da. Uh, bum, 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 bum. he pulls a pistol, <gasps> and he sort of spins around. It's like, his aim's not great though, probably. No, he is. <laughs> but this wait. this is like the Albert levels of you undone my plans. But he's like, then I'm gonna shoot. I look I over him towards to the well, I uh, Ch Chekhov's gun, which I hung on the wall earlier. Go, I, I, take... I usually goes off around now. <laughs> uh, I, I dive towards Chekhov's hammer. gun and hit it to make it go off. I've got <laughs> I've got my little hammer. As as Corazon is doing that, I try to do like a pincer movement with him by distracting Chen, by taking out the little hammer from my belt yeah. and lobbing it at Chen's face. <laughs> okay, wow. This, okay, so... Uh, In Ilwen, a very panicked move. <laughs> Mer Ilwen, I would like you to make me a feelings roll. We'll call this a 2d6. Yes. I got a fail and then I got a laser feelings. Great, okay, yes. Um, so that's plus 1d6 to your roll, Corazon, for Chekhov's gun. Um, you've definitely prepared this one. <laughs> this one's been in the wings for a while. Someone so catch we'll... the antigen, by the way, when he drops. We'll call this a but I think two... he slid it to one side, hasn't he? It's on the side, or is he holding it? Uh, he, it's on the side. He put it's it down. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. In that case, don't worry about it. Where's my gun? We'll call this a 3d6 one, so with that extra one, you're rolling 4d6. That is uh, a 6, a 3, a uh, 4... And a five. So that's four successes. That's a crit. Um, so uh, what, describe crit, to me what crit, happens. Crit. crit. Um, okay. Uh, I dive towards Chekhov's gun. But as I do so, uh, I sort of slip and smack into the wall. It causes the gun to flip upwards off the wall and discharge itself directly into the face of Chen. <laughs> Chen... <laughs> Chen sort of reels around and, and drops the vial. I see that happening, and I manage to sort of kick back off the wall and slide on my knees towards Chen, grabbing the vial out of the air as I do so uh, with one hand and doing a sort of fist pump with the other. Okay, cool. So Chekhov's gun has blasted Chen in the face. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, I didn't. I did, you know, I didn't mean to. This, no, no, this no, just happens. It's yeah. fine. Um, so. He kind of rocks back onto the the, the lab bench, and um, kind of in that rag dolly way, he sort of posts himself up onto the desk. He's just like Whoa! lying there now, um, with his shoulders and what would be his head hanging off the far side if his wow. head had not been um, Shot just off. cut from the third act by Chekhov's gun. <laughs> yeah, that, I really um, need to get this thing looked at. It's uh, always going you, off in the third why act. Why do you carry that? <laughs> it's As, a convenient plot so device. <laughs> um, as he goes, I, he kind of like he he falls back. His sort of his boiler suit that he was wearing flies open. You see his um, his uh, uh, ID card sort of on a little lanyard flops out, and you see that he was um, he was called uh, Leander Chen. Well, it's it's uh, officer designation Chen L. Um, <gasps> la 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 la. Oh, I see. Uh, Damn that Chen L. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Leander Chen is dead now. Um, um, I would like to walk up to the body and empty my first aid box of blood over it. 
Does it Live, work? damn it! <laughs> I look at and I look at the others and say, Start up. I'm start sorry, up. it's too late for Chen. Start up. Six feelings roll. <laughs> oh, okay. It might work. Oh, you're letting me do it. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Can't oh, wait that's to a see success. if this works. <laughs> okay, he is covered in blood. <laughs> oh, right. Start up. Does just... it get any easier? It never gets any easier. Oh no. But thank you for asking. I go to down my drink. Remember, I already downed it, and feel pain like I've never felt. <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, the last living crew member uh, of the ship is now dead. Chell. Right. Um, well. But you have a lovely pumpkin spice antigen. Yeah. So what I'm going nice... to do is uh, I'm going to go s- stand by the doorway. Right. And I'm going to like inhale um, <laughs> all the delicious coffee smell. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. And then and then fire it out my exhaust into the ship uh-huh. as a kind of signal to the uh, heightened senses of the mole rat. And sense of smell, and then they're going to come, and then we'll feed them with coffee. And how are we going to fit? How about we get it in? Is there some kind of like fire suppressant sprinkler system on this ship? Maybe we could get it into or (laughs) atomize it into the air circulation. Question Do we know whether this stuff works yet? Oh, I inject myself with it. No, no, you're not a mole rat. rat. How is that going to prove anything? Inject the stunned mole rat with it, doctor. All right, I inject. <laughs> I inject the stunned mole rat with it, and then when everyone's paying attention to that, I just pop a little in myself. Okay. Um, the mole rat. I mean, it's not difficult to um, to distract the crew because the um, the transformation is abrupt and it, it, it quite violent. It kind of starts thrashing around, and as it does so, it slowly starts to sort of shrink back into a, a vaguely human form, and then Hooray! sure enough, you're looking at a uh, an a very confused, slightly scared, and very naked crew member who's just like, oh, who, are you? who are you? Don't be afraid. Okay. You're <laughs> a bit afraid. It's still quite dangerous. Um, <laughs> no, you're right. <laughs> Star Dog. Meanwhile, I'm it's pumping an coffee smell into the spaceship. <laughs> um, Star Dog, the antidote sends you on a 15, 15 hour hallucination. Um, <laughs> oh, it's, no. like a, it's like a real kind of, you know, like. Spirit quest kind of See thing. See you next time, Stardom. Um, when, you, when you come back around, uh, you realise that only four seconds has passed in the, uh, in the world. <laughs> but reality will never be quite the same for you. But you've had an idea for a great new cocktail that involves quite a lot of sand. <laughs> <laughs> um, meanwhile, um, Eggbot has just blasted coffee smell down Out the of, corridor yeah. um, and you kind of the noise of his sort of mouth fan shuts off mm. and there is silence and then sort of you know the camera sort of does a slow zoom on one of the the Jeffrey tunnels uh, as you just hear far away the shrieking of about a dozen <laughs> monsters just going like all right <sighs> everyone grab a big plastic syringe and fill it with antidote because they're yeah, coming, they are, they're on the way. They are. On, I look for like a trank, trank Ooh. gun. If there's anything in the med bay, no. Okay, I'll <laughs> try and get close to them. Bay. It'll be fine. <laughs> Just squirt the syringes at their mouths. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. The Everyone, corridor. brace yourself. I have yeah. a um, uh, I have a uh, little like water pistol squirt gun that is usually full of booze. Oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, Chen's flamethrower. Let's repurpose oh, it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Rinse it out. Stick some antidote in there. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'm I'm dual wielding big medical syringes. Okay. Okay. I've got Chen's flamethrower. <laughs> full uh, of I've coffee. I've got full of I've coffee. I've got um my crowbar on the end. I've just got one syringe <laughs> taped to it. <laughs> Bayonet okay. syringe. <laughs> um, give me a two d six lasers feeling prudenzia to to make this flamethrower into an antidote thrower. Okay. Two d six. Excuse me. Yeah. Lasers we're looking for. Yep. Oh, nice. Okay, it's two threes, so two successes. Perfect. Great. Yeah, it works. You're like, oh, yes. this, this baby will, this will do it. All right. I got a coffee yep. thrower. <laughs> yep. Finally. <laughs> um, I attach my hose attachment. <laughs> yeah. It's now the time. <laughs> but can you not wait till we get back to the ship? Um, nope. Here comes the pneumatic arm. <laughs> um, Stardob, you are pleased to know that you can now touch your hands together again without them phasing into into one another. Whoa. They can touch um, everything except <laughs> themselves. <laughs> yeah. um, the corridor is now awash with a tidal wave of horrible rat creatures that right. are swarming toward you. What do? 
I say, welcome to Star Dobbs. May I take your order? And then I start f firing at mouths with syringes in a very instinctual feelings -y kind of way. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, so that's one. Uh, yeah. So you'll be you'll be rolling on feelings. We'll do this all at once, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll call this. Uh, I'll sod it. You can have three d six. Hell that yeah. One. That is that is a very you thing. Eggbot, how are you handling this? I'm going to fire uh, coffee out of my hose attachment at the mole rat people. Okay. I'm going to give you two because I don't think firing coffee out of your hose attachment is necessarily something you do in your normal line of duty. Okay. Question Normally mark. it's another liquid of some sort, presumably. Yeah. Okay. Just kind two, of you just you've been asked to you've been asked to stop stop enough times that you're a bit out of practice. <laughs> thanks to your crewmates. Okay. Um, Such prudes. Mer Ilwen, are you just going swinging with your crowbar? I'm, I'm just like po poking pokey, pokey. the, the thing. Pokey, pokey okay. stick. Uh, we'll call More this panicking. feelings. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, you are prepared, so that's two. I've struggled to see how you'd be an expert in this. If you can, if you can try and convince me otherwise, I am an expert in finding myself myself in situations that I don't want to be in. <laughs> and this is it's, one of those. It is tenuous, but we are nearing the end of the event. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I feel bad about Eggbot now. Eggbot, what do you normally squirt out of your hose? No. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's for putting out fires and things, right? Oh. Okay. Well, oh. this is kind of. <laughs> nice one. For putting out fires and things, Mum, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then you. Yes, you can have three. Thank uh, you. Prudencia, what do? Um, I with icy precision, I, I rack my flamethrower. I don't even know if you do rack flamethrowers. But... A bit like a <laughs> That's super how this soaker. One works. Yeah, like a super soaker. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, kachak. Yeah. Great. And I prepare to blast uh, blast them with coffee. Okay. That's a, that's an easy three. Uh, yes. Stardub MD. Oh, um, that will be obviously lasers. Yes. Yeah. Lasers. Uh, I don't believe I have um, much to offer in in the way of, of battle in this situation. So I'm just going to start setting up like a little triage behind everyone. Okay. I sort of get my um, I, I sweep some of the blood back into the first aid kit and just like <laughs> that's good blood. Yeah, yeah. don't want to waste it. I spit on the syringes. <laughs> Uh, just, just basically get everything ready for like the next operation I have to perform <laughs> on any one of you. It could be. <laughs> yeah, mm. that's a three d six roll, I guess. So everyone's rolling three d six. Okay. You know whether you're under or over. I got two threes and a six, which is three successes. Three, uh, three successes. Got... Laser feelings. I got one success. Three successes. Two successes. Twelve. That is quite neat. You got exactly the number of as many successes as there are rat people. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, well, this is going to be quite montagey, isn't it? Let's. Mm -hmm. um, I tell you what. Uh, ask me your question, and then we'll we'll all describe a lovely montage. Does this ship have? I'm thinking. I'm just thinking ahead a little because it all seems to be going so well. I guess I'm thinking. Um, uh, I, I suppose I'm I'm looking at the thinking about the ship that I've seen that you know what I know of its design and thinking I wonder what the easiest way to get all this gold uh, back is mm. or you know or to detach it and send it to a black hole <laughs> or something I don't know I'm <laughs> trying space, to think how do we move lake. the gold mm -hmm. um, probably the easiest way would be if you um, you got do you remember your sort of like you had like uh, suits before with little jet boosters so you can kind of spacewalk your way around oh yeah um cycle all the atmosphere out of the cargo bay so it's in it's on free float um maneuver the gold kind of all of you like <laughs> on a raft get l1 l1 to do the same thing on the, the cargo bay lock it down get her to repressurize the cargo bay it's probably the easiest way Cool. But before that, you have to take out a dozen <coughs> weird rat people. Um, yeah. So I kind of like. I like to think it's kind of like uh, Prudencia opens up with an initial like, <laughs> and sort of the first wave sort of falls over and starts writhing, which makes it harder for the other ones to kind of they start scrabbling over. Um, the others start sort of picking, picking those ones off as they mm -hmm. kind of come over the top. Mm-hmm. 
Um, I'm just holding the holding the line, waiting for them to get close enough so I can see the whites of their teeth when their mouth are open like this. So, <laughs> yep. so I can, and as soon as they get close enough, they start screaming to try and bite me. Bam! Big load of coffee antidote down the throat. Bam! Mm -hmm. Towards another one. Bam! Third. I'm out of coffee, but that's three. Nice. I uh, I I put, spray some suppressing coffee uh, out of my hose attachment uh, across the next wave. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> yeah, so those two are kind of holding the fort, um, sort of holding the defensive line. Yeah. Um, Corazon is there kind of picking off any that get through, which means, I mean, it sounds Merylwen like you're leading the charge. I'm just like, <laughs> get out there, Merylwen! <laughs> and I'm mostly missing. I am mostly missing. And sometimes, like, injecting people who have already gotten the antidote, so they're probably having a wild so time So they turn back. Well. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Then, They're all on finally, 15 hour drug trips. Yeah. <laughs> finally, I actually managed to get one and it turns and I feel really pleased with myself. Okay, great. Um, so <laughs> you, you, hear, you hear a final meaty thwack as the last sort of rat person drops to the ground and starts sort of, um, sort of uh, like turning back into a human. And then basically you all kind of look at each other being like, we made it. And you see Meryl when it's just on the other side of a sea of naked people. <laughs> so I've been like, what happened there? All right, before they get their wits about them, let's steal all their gold. <laughs> okay. Oh, shoot. Yeah, right. Okay, it takes you about an hour and a half, but you, you completely ransack their hold. It's lots of gold. Mm -hmm. Unobtainium. I think that's entirely fair. I mean, they would have been yeah. mole rat people mm -hmm. for the rest of we time if we had What price on life? Yeah. We I give like. them in return a large crate of coconut, <laughs> coconut shrimp. shrimp. Yeah. <laughs> Supplies. It's trade. Yeah. yeah. They'll need take um, this to your people. And we also put a note on it that was like, it was Chen. He put the Zimbiot thing in the coffee. In yeah. the coffee. Um, he also ejected all of your. He ejected all of your gold into space. Yeah. We tried to stop him. Yeah. yeah. There was no <laughs> reasoning with him. Yeah. We're sorry. So have have some of our shrimp. We felt bad yeah. about you losing all that gold though. So here's some coconut shrimp. Mm -hmm. So you're not going back to talk to the the, the naked crew. I mean, we probably. I mean, we, we should, but I'll, I'll, once we've loaded all the gold off. Okay. I'll, 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 yeah, we've done the gold, and then like, uh, yeah, we walk back. As we the, discreetly you know. let them dress themselves, and then yeah, we we're like, hey, all get yourselves and, checked yeah. in the med bay, and you don't drink the coffee. Star Dob uh, is doing free <laughs> flu shots for everyone. Okay. He said that, <laughs> says they're flu shots. I mean, um, they're they're kind you, of. You roll um, the dice. You take your chances. Uh, they're kind of like they're, they're sort of getting themselves back together. And then uh, one of you see like um, one of the the crew members walks in and says, C "Captain," to the one kind of getting a flu shot from Dob. Says, uh, "Start off empty." I, we just found Aranovich and Lee, or at least I think I think it must have been them. They've been horribly horribly murdered, sir. One of them looks to have been scooped out from the inside and then torn in half and another one. Uh, oh. He's got no head captain. It looks like some form of professional wrestler came in and just <laughs> Yeah, I that mean, Chen not... was a Chen was just went buck wild. <laughs> <laughs> we tried we tried to stop tried him. To stop he was him, yeah. like a, a man possessed. <laughs> Make me a feelings roll, please, Corazon. <laughs> okay. Don't mess it up. It's a four. Okay. They're like Yeah. Wow, Chen really was a a bad apple. Yeah, Chen really Some was work. with the strength of a robot. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Well, I, you know, you've been such a great help. Um, I've I better get started on this report. I'm gonna have to. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to head office. I'm gonna have to pull all the footage from the numerous security cameras on this ship and start really oh, piecing no. together a, an account <laughs> no. of what happened over the last six hours but you've been great listen we don't want to keep you any longer so you just you just get on your way and uh, we'll oh. we'll be in touch if we, if we need anything we've got your ship's uh signature now so we can send you a message oh. before, before uh, we go we'll slowly reach for Chekhov's gun <laughs> before we um, go it's gonna be a long trip do you mind if i just use the interface port I'm sorry. But I just a bit he needs to offload some data if you know what I mean. Some data, you know. But your ship's, your ship's just there. Yeah, but I, it's a, such a long walk through the umbilical. Do you mind if I just use I'm the facilities? A, I'm, a, I'm afraid I do. 
I ju we just saved your life. I know. Look, I'll level with you. <laughs> okay. We, we don't know who you are. We don't know who you're working with. Um, we've got eight illegally downloaded seasons of Scrubs on there. And if anyone finds <laughs> out, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. So, frankly, no. I'm, I'm sorry, but you're going to have Only to Only eight away. seasons, you say? Why? Would you like some more? <laughs> there are more than eight seasons. Oh, yeah. The <laughs> ninth they, season of Scrubs. It's got a revival, Netflix. In the year, you know, in the year 6000, they made another one. Does it go <laughs> precipitously downhill in quality, though? Because if Well, it's... the clones of the original cast were not quite on point, is all I'll say. Yeah, um, the robot Zach Braff didn't really ever work properly. No. <laughs> he caught so fire in episode one. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's... <laughs> They're not a killing spree. <laughs> but it's if you'd like to watch it. It's a pass. Oh, we talked to ourselves out of that one. Uh, <laughs> well, if I, mean, I leak have you data heard of everywhere, ER? it's your fault. <laughs> oh god who watches er really yeah yeah <laughs> what well, anyway they would um, be <laughs> you get a high priority message from l1l1 informing you that it is margarita and coconut shrimp power back on the all ship right. all right we can't keep her waiting all right Fine. yeah it, it, it comes with the customary uh nuclear self-destruction if no, everyone is not present oh my god. <laughs> right, yeah, everyone back on the ship <laughs> it's oh mandatory god. margarita and coconut shrimp power back on back on the espera well, well bye then yeah. All right. Um, Bye then. So I leave running a big magnet over every computer. <laughs> <laughs> um, you you set off. You're like, oof, that was a tough one while you're eating coconut shrimp. Oh, that, that was well. brisk. <laughs> and drinking that was a margarita. brisk, baby. Um, as you kind of you make your way further into the stars, um, you imagine by now somebody on the other ship is looking up and going, oh, my God, <laughs> and realizing what you've done. Too late, suckers. Um, <laughs> But yeah, you are you are kind of making your starry, starry getaway aboard the Aspera and um, just continuing another day on board your coconut shrimp prison ship. <laughs> Yay! Yay! We did it. Uh, thanks so much for watching, everyone. Thank you to Johnny for another great Ox venture Yay. in space. Uh, check out Dicebreaker on YouTube uh, for more of Johnny's great tabletop stuff that he does over there. Uh, thank you to New York Comic Con and Metaverse for having us. Uh, we appreciate it. And if you want to see more from us, we are going to be doing an Oxventure Q&A panel almost immediately after this finishes. It's going to be at 12 p.m. Uh, PT, 3 p.m. ET, and 8 p.m. BST, which is British... Summer Wait, summer time. Summer time. Space, space time. time. Yeah, space, space time. time. British space yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right, British space time, which... I don't know, eight o'clock UK time. So that's when it'll be. So it's almost it's it's almost now. It'll be soon in the next sort of amount of time that's coming up. So come and join <laughs> us Call for that. Um, yeah, if you want to get a ticket for that, there's a link in the chat probably. Uh, there's a link on our Twitter. It's pinned to the top there. So come along and hang out and ask us questions about what the hell, was what the hell just happened uh, or whatever you like. Uh, we'd love to see you there. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Bye.